Um, I don't know why I be doubting myself or my husband because really did the thing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am Ivory Lynn. Um, I am a big believer in creating an environment that makes you feel good. And so that is what I try to do with everything I do and that's from our home rental projects to hosting to you know plants to everything I just like have a passion for it so I like to make those types of videos sharing my passions um, today's video is actually one I'm really really excited about because it's a home project that we recently finished that I just am obsessed with like it turned out way better than I thought it was gonna turn out um, I don't know why I be doubting myself or my husband because really did the thing so I wanted to share that with you guys um, this video is actually going to be on an accent wall that we put in our bedroom um, I am actually going to do a bedroom makeover I'm just not there yet the linens we currently have on our bed we don't necessarily have window treatments yet we're still shopping around for the right light fixture new sheets things like that so I am working on all of those things and we'll have an update there pretty soon hopefully um, but this is like the first step in the right direction. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I am going to put an inspiration video in the description. This is a video we use for all of like our technical, um, for all of our like technical input. Um, this guy's accent wall turned out amazing, which is pro probably why the video is so popular. So I'll definitely make sure I link what we followed down below but I want you to see our experience and what we did so without further ado please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's get into it so unfortunately I lost a lot of footage um, on how the room looked before we started uh, between the wedding and the honeymoon something didn't get moved over and I don't have it unfortunately so you're kind of seeing us starting not in the middle but you're seeing us with um, things already on the wall. So our first step was framing out the wall. Um, we put MDF on the uh, frame, so the ceiling and two sides and the bottom right above the trim. Our first pieces that we attached were the long pieces that were going to grow across the entire wall. Um, we did a rough design on a piece of paper, but we kind of winged it and really liked how it turned out. So take that for what you will that's what we did and it worked um so my husband here is using a sharpie to mark off different places he wants to make cuts so once we had those um little pieces cut we went in and used a brad nailer to attach all of the pieces to the wall we also marked with painters tape the studs in our wall just to like give us a better guide of like where the brad nails needed to go um if you do if you are attaching mdf to your walls and you aren't hitting a stud you will have a gap between the wall and the actual um trim so for the most part we try to follow you know getting as many nails into the actual studs as we could so that that way it would look super flush and it wouldn't um kind of have that gap in between the wall and the actual trim so yeah, so then we just started kind of filling in different places. I mean, we we had a couple of cuts that uh, we made that either were too short or too long and we tried to figure out where the best place for those to go were. And I'll make sure to link all of the items that we used below. So, you know, obviously things that were really, really helpful for us were, you know, using things like a stud finder. We used this um, kind of like leveler line to be able to put the nails in the right spots um, and kind of like make it a little easier to know where we're going. Um, I love this little contraption because it actually will stick to whatever you place it on, which is really, really cool. After we had all those nails in, then we went in and tried to fill in the gaps. So this part is pretty quick and easy. Um, you can see this is on another day. So it probably, if, if we're talking just work-wise, it took us about four days to complete this um, and that was just you know 
you know, doing the different steps. The first day we attached everything. The second day we went in and did um, filling all the gaps. And we also used caulking um, to fill the seams. So it all looked like one, because what you want to achieve is it all looking like one consistent piece. And so that's what we're going in and doing here. Um, I will say this, one thing that I wish I would have done in the beginning, try not to over um, put too much of that putty there because the more you put on, the more you have to sand. And sanding was not fun for me. Um, it was a struggle and if I was a little more precise in applying this, I don't think the sanding would have been as bad as I felt like it was. So that is just something to keep in mind if you're gonna try to do this yourself. It was pretty extensive the amount of sanding we had to do which i didn't love but you know we did get it done um, we used the electric sander for sander for the big areas and then we kind of went in with just sandpaper um, for the little detail spots we tried to use some of those detail sand um, contraptions they sell at lowe's none of them really worked for us um, and i will say ladies it was a little harder for me um, because I do have acrylic nails and, you know, going in those little crevices and things when you have really, really long nails is a hinder. So just keep that in mind. Um, we got it done, but yeah, that definitely made it a little more difficult for us to sand it down properly so it looked um, cohesive and all together. So next, you guys, I went and got a few different paint samples to try out. I knew that I wanted a back paint, but in my mind, um, it's always worth the time to go ahead and try a sample just to make sure it looks how you want it to look. And so we picked one and here we are just starting our painting process. We did want to use a spray painter, um, but it ended up being way too much work trying to tape off, um, cover everything else in the room so we wouldn't get black paint on it. So. We ultimately decided we would just go through with the um, roller brushes and kind of just get everything done. Um, this took about two days. You just see Bruce taking off that um, outlet cap so we can just paint thoroughly. You know, Bruce would do the large areas and then I did kind of all of the corners. So when you're going dark like this, you have to kind of really really be detail oriented because there are a lot of little spots you can miss um and when you miss a spot with really really dark paint you see it you know what i mean so um but yeah we start filling in all the big spots and then we go in with like a detail brush and a mini roller and we did all of the different trim pieces that way guys and this is how the new wall looks now i cannot even it is so freaking cute 
Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Um, I'm obsessed with the color. I think the design turned out really, really well. Um, it looks even better, you know, as a background to our bed. So we love that. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. I am gonna link everything that we use down below. Now that that wall is done, we are going to move forward with a bedroom makeover. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.